Hello, you dude. This is the Extra 395, and welcome to the second episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 16. But you're always the Extra 395 on my own channel. Right now, Are the enemy already inside the castle. I'm afraid so, Your Highness. We must hurry. Come on, hurry, boy. You're so ass crap. Damn it! His wounds are deep! I can save him! Your, your Highness, I... Uh... Don't worry. You're going to be all right. I'll hold them off. Done, Sir Wade. I am in your debt, soldier. Thank you, Your Grace. We cannot stay here. We should make straight for the rear gate. So much story in that game. 
From your lost Alan to Isar Gelif. May the winds speed you to Rosalith. The north gate's up ahead. There are chocobos in the stables. Father, take Joshua and get to safety. No, I'm not going without you. You're supposed to be my shield, remember? I remember, which is why I'm going to hold the enemy here while you make your escape. I will order our remaining forces to rally at the gate. Now go. I will do my duty. You must do your duty too. I... I know. You have to keep Father safe. I'm counting on you, Joshua. Let none escape. As you command. You take care of that spellcaster. I'll keep the others occupied. <sighs> That's them done. Are you all right? I'm fine. It's my father and Joshua I'm worried about. We should head back. Uh oh. Hey, look out! May I have this dance? Sure. The Imperial Dragoon. And you are the shield who was blessed by the Phoenix. Not that it will save you! Still damn you! Open! 
So, they sent in the Dragoons, Imperial Vipers. Do they really mean to invade us? Not yet. Their numbers were too few. They were not here to take the castle. They were here to take heads. Our work is done. We should return to my father. My lord, look! We issued these sashes but yesterday, in Rosalith. If they were already among us, what if there were others? Father and Joshua are in danger. We must hurry. Take your steed. Interesting. Oh, all right. Thank goodness. Your Grace, is everyone safe? For the moment. We ride for Rosalith to rally our forces. I will need your help to see Joshua safely back to the capital. On you get, Joshua. Hmm? Father? I'm sorry, Your Grace, but that won't be possible. You... you are the snakes! Stay back! I'm warning you! Run, Joshua! Run! No! Hey. Oh, what the heck? Oh, 
lost control. I have to do something. I have to save him. No, my lord. Fall back. Climb! Come on. Chuckable. Thank you, God. You saved my life. Get her on her feet and run. Please. Joshua, are you in pain? Uh oh. Come on! You're his shield. Do your duty. Save him. My lord? is Phoenix and the other is a Give me a second. Sorry about that, I spilled something over and I have to get it out.
is your brother, dumbass? was vanquished. Dog. No! Stop it! Take your hands off my brother! Help me! Help me, Clive! Joshua! Stop it! Stop it! I swore I would protect him!
I'm a little off. Quite a mess that monster made. Damn shame about the Phoenix, but can't be helped. Oh, my condolences, Your Grace. Is there aught we can do? <laughs> Haven't you done enough, Captain? Joshua was my world, and now he is gone. I can only pray there will be a place for me in the world his radiance seeks to create. I see. Your Grace, over here. The rubble must have protected him from the worst of the flames. Shall we take him prisoner? No need for that. Kill him. Hmm. Wait. As my husband never tired of telling me, he is a fine soldier. I'm sure he would make an excellent addition to the Imperial front line. All in its right place. Take this one. <laughs> Chin up, lad. You're going to be a soldier. Joshua. again. Welcome back. Sorry. What's our situation? Let's just say Shiva and Titan's little spat hasn't made things any easier. And? It's as you thought. The Crusaders have sounded the retreat. Then we follow. We're down a man, Sergeant. If we return without Shiva's head, our fate will be no different from Beast's. I'll take my chances with the Iron Blood. At least then I might die fighting. After you do. That is. I won't be dying. Not today. Then it's settled. No dying. Now, if you don't mind, we have an army to chase. expect us to kill something that can do this they don't only the girl holding its leash oh okay
old trails are gone. It'll be hell finding a way out. Do you think a retreating army and their dominant will fare any better? Titan has knocked the fight out of our iron blood friends. Where are the rest of them? That can't be the main host. Wait. Ingfat! Bitzler! Our fortunes have turned, Sergeant. It's her. The dominant? Are you certain? The crystalline orthodox is a backwards faith for a backwards people. In the Iron Kingdom, they teach that dominance are unclean aberrations born of blackest sin. Only their priests are allowed to perform the rites of priming. And I see many. We end this quickly. Shrinkscott! Adion in here, Sagarid! Now, Kim, Alan Scully asked. She wasn't a plane. She was defeated.
Is she dead? I don't think so. Well? What are you waiting for? Bloody do it then! Again, Wyvern. Take her head so we can be done with this. I... I can't. I won't. You would betray the Holy Empire? Betray? I don't recall ever pledging allegiance to your Emperor. My service may have been bought with this brand, but not my loyalty. I just fight to survive. You think I don't? The Empire will have our heads if we return it to Hamlet. So if you won't take hers, I'll have to take yours. I told you, Sergeant. I'm not dying here today. And neither is she. Let's find out. <laughs> Why? Have you forgotten who plucked you from the front lines? Who trained you? Who gave you a name when you had none? You speak as if we don't bear the same brand, Sergeant. I've always had a name, and I've not forgotten it. Still for nothing. No one. And I will not fall by your hand. Oh, you will. <laughs> I might not finish today. like it.
Oh no. This way. Dead. Bloody wind. Well, come on then. Fuck. Fuck. Hugo dear, my proud desert lion. Would that you had taken care when chasing the hare? I expected more from the mighty Titan. You put the Ice Queen on her back, no doubt. But you'll have to work harder if you're to claim this price. My lady, the thunder. We'll be hearing more soon enough. You always were a fucking snake, Sid. Gather the men. We have work to do. Jill, is it really you? And who's this fine hound I see before me? A fine hound who saved your life, that's who. Torgal. Hey. His name is Torgal. You two acquainted? Well then, you won't mind taking him off my hands. Funny. I'd always pictured you as more of the chocobo type. Clive Rosfield. Come now. Fleet as flame, fierce as a wildfire. That there was the blessing of the Phoenix. I'd heard rumors that you'd survived, but I never paid them much heed. <laughs> Calm down. I didn't come all this way for your handsome mug. Now her, on the other hand, she seemed worth muddying my boots for. for wear. Still, might be best to get a second opinion. Back her up! No. Oh. Not another step. <laughs> I mean it. Well, I'm not about to leave her here. Not one with a warm bed waiting. It's all right. You're welcome to join us. You do want to help her, don't you? Uh, Sid, if we aren't back soon, none will have our heads. <laughs> I'll explain everything once we're back at the hideaway. Come on.
Not much further now. But we're in the middle of the Deadlands. Keen eye, you. The blight suck this place dry. Meaning no trees, no birds, and no magic. But it also means no neighbors. The last place anyone would think to look. Sweet home. Anyway. A mogul. This place. These are fallen ruins. Well, we didn't think they'd mind. And it keeps the black from our lungs. But how do you survive without magic? How does anyone? Hard work and a bit of nails. You must be starving. We grow them here, believe it or not. Suit yourself. You're back. Ah, it's are you? And this is the dominant. How cold since we found her. I was hoping you might give her a look over. All right. Goots, get her upstairs. Well, but none will... Don't fret about Karen. I've taken care of her fee. All of it. She's the best healer this side of the belt. You have nothing to worry about. Go on, have a look around. I'll be in my solar. I died away. What the heck? Oh, okay. When he's not like chasing rumors, he sits up there. Careful, you. I've spent the old morning. working on a pet project of mine. Though she's not above biting the hand that feeds her. All right. I was hoping we might try and solve the mystery of poor Clive Rossfield. A bearer of the Sambrequa Imperial Army sent behind enemy lines. With orders to wait until it turned into a brawl, then slit the Dominant's throat in the chaos. I didn't know it was her. How could it be? And so, to save her neck, you slit your sergeants, then set your sights on the hills, conveniently forgetting how the Empire deals with deserters. Because with that on your chop, my friend, we both know you won't be getting far. You've fallen a long way, Lord Rossfield. <sighs> I'll not have it said that I'm a poor host. What do you mean to do with her? 
do with her? Why nothing? Her life is her own now. If I wanted to use her, do you think I'd be talking to you? All I want to do is help. Dominance like her, branded like you. Of course, the realm doesn't approve, which is why we live in a cave. And it's also why we need help from Brandy who know one end of a sword from the other. What say you, Clive? Will you join us? Sid, was it? I trust that you'll do right by Jill. But until my brother is avenged, I must walk my own path. Avenged? My brother was murdered by a second dominant of fire. The Phoenix is evil twin. Oh, bugger me. Another rumor proven true. I only stand here today because of Joshua. Thirteen years I've waited for this chance. I've slept in filth, drunk from a gutter, killed more men than I can count. You're right. The Empire will not suffer a deserter. This will be my best opportunity. My last. Which is why you should join us. I told you I'm not interested, I know. One of my scouts sent word there's a group of branded fugitives north of here, in the Imperial village of Lost Wing. Among them is one he believes to be a dominant of fire. Is he certain? What say we go and ask him? This doesn't mean I'm joining you. Let's make ready, then. You'll find everything you need down in the main hall, as well as a few things you don't. Have fun. Okay, uh, let's go that way. Was it? Perhaps you can help. Sid asked me to make ready for our mission. How does one go about that here? Uh, well, uh, there's old Nan's place. Oh, oh, uh, on second thoughts, uh, you maybe want to see Blackthorn first. Okay, let's see. A blacksmith. To the forge it is then. Oh wait, no, hold up. You'll be needing this. Blackthorn won't take no notice of you otherwise. Might not anyway. Blackthorn. What if I am? I'm no time for idle chatter. I'm not here to talk. I'll be accompanying Sid to Lostwing and I need you to see to my equipment. You could be accompanying the goddess Grieger to our holy bedchamber for all I care. I'm not lifting a finger for you. Is that so? Do you want that or not? I can take it back. Damn you, Goots. All right, all right. No need to be hasty. 
Let's have a look at you. <laughs> I doubt that lot could stay a Moogle's fart. Bloody Imperials. They'd rather see their bearers dead than kid it out properly. I'll do what I can, as a favor to Goot's mind. And the belt, Caesar Square. You want anything else? You bring your own material. I'll bear that in mind. Yeah. I suppose I should thank Goots. The gift worked. You have my thanks. I, uh... <laughs> Come on, nearly there. Blankets, quick as you like. <laughs> All right, we make them comfortable while the bed's made up. <laughs> well, you're just gonna stand there, someone fetch some water. I'll get the bucket. You go and see if Otto needs out, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, me? <sighs> what the hell have I got myself into? <laughs> Who are they? Huh? They're freed Imperial bearers. Who the hell are you? Shit, at this rate, you won't make it through the night. Think you can find your way up them stairs to the infirmary? We need Tyre. Well, go on. Shift your ass. Okay, 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 come down. Here, tits. Man. Was Tyre the one looking after Jill? Your friend needs her rest. There'll be time for tearful reunions once she's recovered. I'm not here for Jill. You're wanted downstairs. There are injured bearers in need of attention. Well, why didn't you say so? I was. I didn't have time. I did say so. He's going to be all right, but I'll need to examine them both in the infirmary. My work's just begun. Another fine day at the hideaway. Do many of the bearers who come here arrive in this state? It's no easy thing, casting off your chains. By the time most pluck up the courage, they're already too far gone. These two here are the lucky ones. The name's Otto. You need anything? You ask me. Well, Otto, I do need some supplies. Do you now? Then Lady Karen over there will be more than happy to help you. Right. Oh, and thanks. Be seeing you. Not likely. I won't be staying. Is that right? Well, for as long as you are here, consider yourself welcome. You helped us today, and we won't forget it. That's cool.
Hi, question. That's gonna do it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed. This is the extra tune of my own channel. Bye now. See you next time. Bye bye.